Angeles. Chapula huli wanakulia. If you want to impress the empress, you better express. Cause I'm an African queen. What? Wallan, wallan, wallan. Welcome back, guys. If you've not subscribed to my diary, please do. I'm still having my guest here, Binti Africa. Binti, now you're doing reggae. What led to the turnaround? Lion is order. Back in a half life production, Kenya. Yes. Mix my Yes, my sister. You know them situationships you look back on As in Guinea, how do you not shanga? Or not you, Lisa? Did you think you could turn around? Who? Why, yes? Okaji could only let you get down who? Uh. Ooh, that's a story. Um, first of all, I had like a five-year uh, sabbatical out of music because in 2010, I was involved in a really terrible car accident. Mm, that put me out, actually out for two years, you know, f uh, physically. Mm. And you know, when things happen to you, some things happen to you in life, then you get to know who your friends are, number one, because then you need, and those who are with you in good times, they scatter. <laughs> and um, it brought, how can I put it, it brought a deeper it brought a spiritual awakening for me it brought a spiritual awakening and i'd always always loved reggae but i never had the confidence mm -hmm. um because i was like i'm not jamaican i don't speak patois mm -hmm. so at this time i was actually working for um man i forget the company but basically what i was doing is i was signing um the elderly for medical covers and a really good friend of mine who goes by the name of David Cecil, um, DJ Scarface, again, um, he had told me years ago that my voice would sound really good in reggae. Oh. It's always like a running joke, mm -hmm. you know? And he brought Mungo's Hi-Fi, one of the UK's leading sound systems. Mm -hmm. um, Big up Dougie Payne mm -hmm. and Charlie P. So he brought them from the UK for their first East African tour. Okay. And he had selected a number, a number of artists from East Africa to work with them. Uh -huh. And I was one of those artists. Yes. So that was the first time, actually. I remember I'm sitting in the office and he's just sending me these reggae tunes. And I'm like, guy, Bana, you know, I don't know what to do with this thing. But you know, the funny thing is the first dub he sent me, because it was a dub, and really heavy bass and roots, roots reggae vibration, I started singing Malaika on it. Okay. And then when we met, um, the song became Binti and Nazizi, mm -hmm. on Malaika uh, cover, like a reggae cover of Malaika. And that was my first foray into reggae music. Mm -hmm. And that's how Swahili Dub was born. Mm -hmm. And I've never turned back. What is Swahili dub? Swahili dub, yeah. Okay, so Swahili, let's, um, Swahili dub is actually a name that I coined for myself in the reggae, you know, for my style. And what it is, is just, it's um, heavily influenced by 
just the original Jamaican sound system vibration of really heavy bass. You know, that bass line has to drop and you feel it. And roots reggae vibes, and then fused with Kiswahili language and my own Swahili vibration. Yes, so you get Swahili dub. <laughs> Your new music mm -hmm. is dope, by the way. Thank you. You always mention Lioness Order. What is that about? Um, okay, Lioness Order. You know, first of all, the Lioness is the strongest feminine symbol, you know, um, that we have. And um, it's just about a woman's strength. And again, you know, like I was saying, I, in 2010, I had this terrible accident and my life changed in so many ways because very many people that I thought were there for me I realized were just fakers and um, and and um, I moved then from Malindi to Nairobi I basically had to restart my life again and that took a lot of inner strength you know and a realization that I can do this, Kwani Nini, those who voted me out, I still vote myself in. So lioness order, yeah, <laughs> it's just a strength. And they're very, every single woman out there has that strength within her. And that is the lioness within you. So the lioness order is simply, it's just a movement. It's an organic sisterhood of strength. That's what it is. So it's dope. Yeah. Uh, your new music, have you done an album? Yeah. I've been working on this album for about four, four to five years, I'd say, now, and it's finally complete. Um, the album is called The Lioness Reborn. Again, just basically, like I said, you know, it's, it was just that um, realization that I have this strength within me and no one can, you know, nobody can come and tell me you can do it. I just need to tell myself I can do it. And so it's called The Lioness Reborn. I'm really excited. There's some amazing, amazing songs. I've got to work with the Mixmaster Chow of Half-Life Productions, Big Up Yourself, Ever Blazing, Hopton Blaze of Ever Blazing Productions, Big Up Yourself, uh, ZJ Heno, Real Empire Sound, Big Up Yourself. So, yeah, man. <laughs> An artist? Um, artists. Actually, this album, you know, my first album, I did lots of collaborations. Huh? Um, this particular album is more just my voice, so I don't have a lot of collaborations. I only have one collaboration in the album uh, with Ja Isis, okay. and uh, this song actually is out. Uh, the video came out in December. It's called Royal Loving. Yes, and please subscribe to Binti Africa Music on YouTube and check out the video. And what are other songs in the in the album? Um, one of the biggest, actually, one of the biggest songs of of uh, my career is in the album, and it's called Barua Kwa Serikali, and the video is done by. <laughs> Support truly, yeah. Um, you should check it out again uh, on YouTube. And um, that song actually opened. Well, I wouldn't say it opened into because I already had access denied and I tell food before that. But Baruo Koserikali came and what's the word I'm looking for? So Baruo Koserikali. Dope track. Mm. Um, currently, what is on your playlist? Ooh. Uh, on my playlist right now, I have um, Nazizi, um, Maria Ngoma, uh, Kali Fit, who's an artist I literally just found out about recently, uh, Coolie Buds, Buju, um, Gentleman, uh, Earth Cry, Raging Fire, um, Man, Singing You. Yes, um, Lavosti, love, love, love. Wow, I listen to I listen to a lot of music. <laughs> yeah. What, what do you think is the best song you've ever released, and why? Hmm, that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a tough one. Um, I'll say Conky Fire. Okay. <laughs> I'll say Conky Fire. Um, the reason why I'll say Conky Fire is the best song, number one, because I didn't write that song. I freestyled it. It came straight from my heart, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it came straight from my heart. Like, I feel you on that. And um, it's, you know, again, it's just about 
that um, self encouragement and you know in always there'll be people who'll always test you in life and there'll always be naysayers you know but you have to know that this is my goal and this is where I'm trying to get to and close your ears to you know the silence the noise mm -hmm. and focus have your faith and do the work mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> and blaze it you know <laughs> produced by produced by ever blazing productions hopton blaze who's an executive producer on my album the lioness reborn that's coming out i have to tell you conky fire actually is my favorite binti africa song ever <laughs> It just has the energy that is out of this world, I tell you. Yeah. I th for me too, like, and by the way, it's also on my playlist. And I know, you know, um, it's always been very difficult for me to re-listen. And I say re-listen to my music. But every time I hear Conky Fire, it's like I've had it for the first time. Yes, fire, blaze. Lodge up on myself all the time. The lioness order. Forever, ever blazing. Ever blazing. My love. Bad mind, you know what? This fire. We are go blazing with a conky fire. Run around and chop, but but to keep fire blaze. My ass, so 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 we may overstay. Yes, sir. <laughs> Which musician would you like to collaborate with you? Like a dream collaboration? Kenyan or international? Both. Uh, oh, but then let me even rephrase that. An international artist who's Kenyan or. <laughs> You know why I say that? Because um, I realized, you know, uh, this we we might the same way um, an artist can be from Jamaica or from America, but they're called international artists. It's simply because their music crossed over. So we also have international artists who live in Kenya or who are Kenyan. Yes. Yeah, so um, um, artists I would love to collaborate with Queen Africa. I'd love to work with her and Rima. Oh my God, those two. I would love to work with them and Pressure Bass Pipe. Like okay. Kabisa, Ayani, I really want to work with Pressure. <laughs> I love his music. You had asked me who else is on my playlist. Mm -hmm. Kathy Matete, I absolutely love her. And um, I'm so proud of the work that she's done. She's also come a long way in this reggae music in a, in a short while because of being consistent, you know, and, and just waking up every day and working towards your goal. So big up yourself, Kathy. If you could have your fans remember one thing about you, what would that be? Oof. Um, if my fans could remember one thing about me, what would that be? Mm. Mm. That I always kept it real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For I sure. Like, 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 like. <laughs> A message to your fans. Um, Before that, according to you, how is the reggae industry in Kenya, East Africa? Um, again, oh, by the way, it's also grown in leaps and bounds. Reggae industry in, in Kenya has grown in leaps, leaps and bounds. Um, which, 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 it's so exciting right now to actually have radio stations that are dedicated to reggae and shows that are dedicated to Kenyan reggae. Mm -hmm. um, also because so many um, other international artists see Kenya as the hub. It's, Kenya is now the reggae hub of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so that with them coming here and releasing their music, releasing their albums, doing all the concerts, mm -hmm. it has also spurred spurred an upwards movement within you know us, the Kenyan reggae artists, because you know competition it's, it's healthy. You know, if you're coming with that fire, even us, we have to bring our own fire. So um, that's really amazing. Also, there's there are more female artists, um, which never used to be. Um, and that's really, really good. Um, there's more collaboration. Um, and now, I guess, also with things, I mean, with YouTube and digital, with um, Song Trust and, and Spotify, and, you know, it's, it's so much easier to also get information about music online. Um, because as it is in Kenya, we still do not have record labels as such. Um, so it's important as a musician to learn about the business of the music. But it's so much easier to learn this now because the information is out there for free. Yeah, but um, I must say the Kenyan reggae industry is, is, is booming. It's, it's yeah. It's booming. So it's up to us as artists also to play our part because the world is listening and the world is watching. And, and Kenyan reggae has a place on the international uh, market. 
So, yeah. If you could date any other musician or celebrity, How who would it be and why? Ooh, <laughs> that one, no. Date. Oh, oh Lord. Um, only on my diary. Damien. Damien Marley. Oh, okay. man. May I die for Damien any day? Like, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, first, okay, first of all, his dreadlocks are just, just, just calling my name. <laughs> like, he's a, he's eye candy for days. Um, and on top of that, I love his voice. It's raspy, you know, just his vocals are amazing. And um, he's, con he's conscious, he's conscious, he's very conscious. His level of consciousness appeals to me. Okay. Yeah, it appeals to me. And not just because he's Bob Marley's son. I really just love his swag, man. The guy is swaggerific, you know, mm -hmm. and he knows how to dress too. And me, I like someone who can dress. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, are you listening? Yeah? <laughs> she likes somebody who can. Yes. Who got the look? The look. Look yes. is look, don't yes. get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What would you tell an aspiring young musician? Um, okay. Any advice for them? Yeah. Mm, number one, I think you also have to ask yourself, first, first question you should always ask yourself, are you doing music for the masses or are you doing music for your friends Mtani, you know, in your locality, like in your hood? Um, that's the number one question. Because if you're doing music for your friends to come and big you up, then you're in the wrong industry. Number one, <laughs> you're never going to make it. Um, you're, not, you're not going to succeed in it. But if you're doing music to actually succeed mm -hmm. in the industry, um, you have to be ready to take risks. You have to be prepared to try um, another sound, get out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. as much as your sound is concerned. Um, it's the only way for you to grow. Mm -hmm. Uh, you also have to be ready to listen and take criticism. Mm -hmm. That's the only way for you to learn. And um, you have to set your goals. You see, music is not just fun. It's, it's work. It's work. So you actually have to write. Like, I have a diary up until today. I have a diary and I write down my goals. And I come back and I tick them off, you know. Have I achieved this? What do I want to do? I also look at what other artists are doing. Because you also have to study the game. You know, in order to improve your own game. Yeah. So um, my advice would be, again, like I said, number one, ask yourself which kind of music you're trying to do. And if you're actually in music to succeed, then you have to follow all these other things. You've got to do the work. You have to have the faith and you have to listen. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. Mm -hmm. To your fans. To my fans, first of all, thank you guys so much for, hey man, you, you're ride or die, <laughs> you're with me. Um, thank you, thank you so much for all the support through the years and continuing to support me. And um, keep believing, keep believing in yourselves, yeah, and just live your best life, man. You know, no one can tell you nothing, only you can validate yourself, only you can fire blaze. <laughs> <laughs> How can they find Binti Africa? Um, you can find Binti Africa, again, Binti Africa, Africa with a K, Binti Africa Music on YouTube, Binti Africa Music on Facebook. Please, my fan page is there. Go like, follow. If you click like, you'll get all the notifications when I'm doing shows, when I'm releasing something. On Twitter, again, Binti Africa Music. Um, yeah, all the way. And And even if you don't have Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or YouTube, just Google Binti Africa Music, and I'll come up.
and you can follow wherever you want to follow or whichever is easier for you. Thank you so much for coming to my diary. Thank you for having me. I've enjoyed. Me too. And I'm looking forward to the album. Yeah. You know, yeah. when are you dropping the album, by the way? What's the plan for the album? Um, our t okay, we have a release month, but we don't have a date. The, okay, release month, Lini. April. April. Yeah. So right now, I'm I'm like head to the ground grinding. <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot of work because I'm an independent artist. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not releasing through any label. So there's a lot of work I'm trying to do right now, especially with even g g getting the sponsorship and there's a lot. Yeah. But I'm really excited. I'm really excited. The music is amazing. Like it is good. It is good. Um, again, like I said, it's taken four to five years, you know, working on this album. So I'm really proud of it. This, this is my second born. <laughs> Please head on over to my YouTube, subscribe, subscribe, follow me on the socials and um, so you won't miss out on this fire. Binti Africa, thank you again for coming. Thank you for Can't wait to have you back. Yay. If you're new to Support Diary, please subscribe. Until next time, thanks for hanging with us. Bless the love. But love. before you go, just do a little of uh, just a verse or chorus verse for Conky Fire. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it goes like this. Uh, which verse you do? Mm. Run around with the hype. I'm a twee with a stupid design. Lions with no body with the vibe. We are straight from Jaja right. Yes, they are full of the lies. What's a babu they are not tree lies. I see a funzo on a mama. At a funzo humu humu. You don't want this fire. We are going to blaze you with a conky fire. Yes, I bless the love. Lions and lionesses, kings and queens. <laughs> More love. Salute.